everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh. And today I wanted to do a little lecture about the future. So I've been thinking about this a lot in my life, pretty much really actually since September. And I was thinking, fast forward one year from now, what are the things that I want to be different in, in my life? And I think coming into the end of the year, 2019, we only have about six more weeks left in the year. And then all of a sudden it's going to be 2020. This is a time uh, to think about things that you want to be different in your life. Not necessarily New Year's resolutions, but you say to yourself, you know what? I want this aspect of my life to be completely different in 2020, 12 months from now, and here's what I want this aspect of my life to look like. And if you're a trader, if you're someone that's trading, you, you know what I'm talking about. Like say for example, well actually let's start out with somebody that's a beginner, somebody that's never traded in their life, and they're thinking about doing this and thinking about doing this and they're procrastinating getting started, maybe someone like that would say, you know what, 12 months from now, I'm going to be trading, I'm going to be making money in the market. I'm going to know what I'm doing. I'm going to be successful. I'm going to be where I wish I was right now today in that aspect. And say you're someone that is currently trading and you are making money, but not as much as you want to make. Say, for example, you're trading, you're profitable or you're break even maybe, but you know you're going to get there, but you're not able to quit your job yet to do this full time. You say, you know what? Again, picture in your mind yourself 12 months from now, doing nothing but trading as your full-time career, even though the hours are part-time, making the money that you desire, picture yourself successful doing it, actually doing it and moving forward. And say you're someone that is actually trading right now and you're losing and you don't know what you're doing or you don't have a system that works or say you, you're stuck on a system that isn't working and you're losing and you don't want to get off of it but you say to yourself, I know 12 months from now, I need to be doing something different. I need to be doing a different trading system. I'm losing doing this thing. I have to change whatever I'm doing in the market. Again, picture yourself 12 months from now, trading a different system, a new system, a successful system, and making money in the market. So I think it's interesting because as human beings, and, and I meet a lot of different people as a, as a teacher, as an educator, and I've met a lot of different people through television as well, and, and just in my life. Um, even when I was in banking, and we're human beings, we're really interesting. Uh, we're, human beings are very interesting creatures. <laughs> First of all, we're creatures of habit, um, and that's number one. And number two, we tend to get in ruts. I, I don't know why, but just as human beings, we tend to get in routines and we tend to get in ruts. And we may be in a routine that's actually not even benefiting us or our lives or our lifestyle or our finances or anything and we may be in a routine a relationship a habit even with our trading again going back to the trading and it's and and it's it's a bad habit it's a bad routine or or you might be trading a system that you're losing and you're doing it you keep you continue to do it day after day and you don't know why but you, as again human beings we're creatures of habit and it takes like like it's like almost moving a mountain <laughs> For us as human beings to change, I again, I don't know why human beings are like that because very often when you think about change and, and if you're imagining something that's a positive change for your life, again, fast forward 12 months from now, see yourself in a different situation with your trading or, or your life financially, whatever it is, picture that, put it out there in the universe. And that helps to create it to happen. But as human beings, for whatever reason, we, we do, it's like moving a mountain or climbing up a mountain to change. I think that as the years have gone by and I've met more and more different types of people and, and I've gotten to know myself better as a human being, I've realized that uh, change is not as difficult as we may think. We, we think that it is, but it's really not. And, and really, it's just, it's something that in our mind that as soon as we're as soon as we see whatever that change is we want to occur, as soon as we make the decision and decide, I want something different, starting right now today, even if it doesn't happen this second today, even if it doesn't happen tomorrow or a week from now, or even by the end of 2019, it's like putting the energy out there that it is coming up soon, whatever, whatever soon happens to be. And soon could be today or could be tomorrow, but it's about changing the energy. It's about changing the energy around you into manifesting what it is that you really truly desire. And again, a lot of times people get in this pattern of guilt 
and they feel down on themselves and they feel negative and they're and they're procrastinating and they make excuses about changing or excuses about their habits or excuses about losing in the market or excuses about trading. I mean, if I had if I had one dollar for every excuse anyone has ever given me for why they haven't taken my Golden Gap course since I started the business since 2012. <laughs> I would be a billionaire actually right now, quite frankly. Um, so I, I trust me when I say like I've really gotten to know human beings very well by communication, understanding, listening to people and just talking to people about about their issues, about their problems, and particularly about money and their finances and the way people think about money. I would say, you know, if you if you start to see your your future as something that is like uh, this like pretend it's a bag of money, which pretend that your future is a bag of huge, massive bag of money. What would you, if you saw a bag of money sitting, like sitting on the floor right over there, what would you do? You would race over and get it right now and grab that bag of money and take it home with you tonight. You would do that. But for some reason, people don't, people don't think like that. So if you, if you, if you think about your future as some big bag of money, uh, as far as your finances and your trading go, I'm talking about not your personal life, but your finances. If you if you see it as a big bag of money, just race right towards it. Stop making excuses. Stop procrastinating. Stop making it difficult for yourself to change your habits, your routine. Stop making it difficult to change because if you know that bag of money is out there waiting for you to grab it and take it home with you or stick it in the bank, you you would run. You would run as fast as you can run. Okay, so. I, I know it's very interesting because, again, going back to what I was saying, as human beings, we're creatures of habit, but things don't stay the same forever. They just don't. So knowing that, you can create the future that you want. Fast forward 12 months from now, think in your mind how you want the 12 months to be from now, right now, today, what you want your life to look at, what you want your trading to look at, what you want your, your, your bank balance to look at, and your trading account balance to look at. And, and in your mind, the information that you have, the knowledge, big, like see yourself as this brilliant, intelligent, successful, uh, wealthy person 12 months from now, uh, a good trader, knowledgeable about the market. And I'm telling you, it's going to help you uh, help you to get there and see yourself racing into your future with, with arms wide open, ready to take all the joy that the market has to bring. If you're interested in more information and learning more about me and the Stock Swoosh, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great weekend, everyone.